Hello and welcome to Little Blue Star. I'm Jane Allen and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Thanks for joining me today. Today I've got a little bit of a difference. It's not a card, it's um, like a hanging photo frame. Um, I can't show you an example first, I'm just going to go, go ahead and get on with it. But obviously if you've seen the thumbnail in the YouTube video then you will see like the finished um, effect before we start. So. First of all, you need DSP. I've gone for the Hydrangea Hill um, DSP pack, which is gorgeous colours, my kind of colours. Um, so that's the pack I've used. DSP, so you need three uh, five by five inches. Next, you need uh, basic white, or it doesn't really matter because that's you're not going to see it, but basic white, um, three of those at four by four inches. And then you need thicker, um, so you could use like cardboard or what your you know like uh, scrap uh, anything really but I've gone for the thicker um, the thick whisp whisper white this is um, and that is three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths okay so we leave that to the side for the moment and then what we need to do is pop that in the middle that in the middle and then get I've used my largest stitched um, stitch square from the stitched shapes dies tongue twister there don't say that fast um, and then pop that in the middle and cut that out so again every single one of those so you pop that I'm just doing it by eye and then put it in the center and then run it through your um, stamp and cut and emboss machine I'll just do that now Okay, so I've just run those through, so I've cut those out. When you lift your stitch square up, it will look like this. And obviously you have cut through the two layers and you're left with that. What we don't need is the DSP, so you'll have three of those. So you don't need those, you can put them to the side, but you need these a bit later on, so keep those. So that's all of those, so just peel away your DSP from there. Okay, so you're left with like squares there. Now decide which of these um, colours, because obviously they're double sided, so decide which of them you actually want on show. Whichever one you want on show, you're facing it down. And then what you're going to do is glue your um, square of Whisper White, basic white now, um, glue that onto the back of your DSP so whichever DSP that you don't want to you don't want to see you're going to glue that onto there okay so that one I do want the purple I'm going to flip that round um, doesn't matter which one this is going to be hidden so you're just gluing that on around the edge and the last one Flipping it over to the side that you don't want to see and popping that onto there. Oops, just put glue everywhere now. Luckily, we're going to glue that on so it won't matter. Then, what you need to do is just cut the corners not too, not too um, near the edge, leaving a, leaving, leaving a tiny bit um, just showing there. Okay, so they look like that, all of those. Like, um, and then the last one there. And then what you're gonna do is glue all those down, so just so you get a nice um, crisp edge when you fold it over. Just run your bone folder or your um, scoring tool, whatever you've got. You don't have to do this, it just gives a nicer crisp when you, when you um, fold it over. And then what you're going to do is just fold that over and glue it down. OK, 
okay so you don't need to bone fold it if you haven't got it but it just gives a nice crisp edge so obviously I like doing that that looks nice and neat and then you're going to glue that and glue it down into place all the way around okay stick those nice and tight so it looks like that I'll just do the other two now okay so I've gone round and I've stuck all of my squares and then when you flip it over that is the side you will see okay these two obviously haven't got a like right way up or a wrong way up but this one you have to decide which way you would like your flowers and I want them at the, at the bottom so you just bear that in mind okay you decide which um which way they're going to go so actually when you hang it up it's going to obviously go vertical so when you hang it it's going to be like that okay so you just decide that so for purposes of the video I'm just going to put it um, horizontally but obviously imagine it's going down like that to be hung right so uh, the next thing is you get your thicker pieces of card flip them over again and as I say make sure you know then which is your top so mine are facing upward so when I hang it this will be the top and they're going to come down like so so I know my flowers want to be at the bottom so I'm going to flip it over that way okay so I know that's my top that's my bottom okay then you're going to attach this to the back okay you can glue you need to glue down the three sides obviously it'll be that three uh the three sides but i think tear and tape works really well here so i'm gonna just pop my tear and tape in the three in the three sides Okay, three sides and peel that off okay there's your three sides and remember which way you're the top the top is where your photo is going to slip in so we're leaving that without being stuck okay so then attach that so three sides adhered and one side is where you're going to slip slip your photo in there okay so you do that on every single one okay so i've just done all three um then you want to i'm mean, going to use my grid paper here to sort of line them up where i want them and then you're going to attach some ribbon so i've gone ahead and i've cut my ribbon um, so you need roughly a metre or 40 inches about. Um, I've gone for this one with the seaside spray and the um, like linen, linen effect. And then obviously this is the back. So whatever bit of the ribbon that you want to show, you will then stick that down. OK, so again, I'm going to put some tear and tape onto here um, to stick my ribbon down. Okay, peel that off and then you want to um, line up your ribbon where you want it so at the top you're going to have your loop um, to hang so you want your loop at the top obviously you can't see it, it's off the screen but it's like that and then it's going to come down um, to the bottom there so just lining that up nice and even and roughly in the middle ish so wherever you want that Stick that down and then that one. Okay, so I'm going to stick that down. Bouncing all over the place. Right, okay, so that is roughly 
where I want that. Then what you need to do just to neaten it up is grab your three little uh, square, I nearly called them circles, uh, grab your three squares that obviously you cut out from earlier that we saved and then we're going to pop that over the top just to neaten it up. So again I'm going to use some tear and tape to pop on there and I want my ribbon to stay in place so I'm going to pop a few a few strips over there just to make it nice and hold nice and tight so pop those over there and then we're going to run it um, like across the ribbon this time you see what I mean I'm just peel peeling my tear and tape off okay so my sticky is that way so I'm going to go that way across my ribbon so in the middle push that down nice and firmly and then you do the same for each of those okay so they are stuck down nice and firm and then the fun bit is turning it over and there is your hanging so there's the top i've done a nice loop there and then it's coming down like that obviously it's gonna hang vertically but can't quite get that in the so you just tuck in your um photos into there just three by three photos or things or you could pop words on or uh, flowers or flowers and things so decorate it how you wish um, I'm going to put photos in mine and I hope you enjoy that thank you for joining me today um, as I said I hope you enjoyed that please give me a thumbs up if you liked that and of course subscribe and I will see you again soon thanks bye